so SCP Roleplay has a variety of useful and great game passes, and today, we are going to be ranking them in a tier list. But before the video starts, let me know what you guys would like to see in the next SCP Roleplay update, and also shout out to the SCP Roleplay wiki, I use their sources in this video. So let's hop into our first game pass, which is a Glock 17 game pass. For just 100 Robux, you get access to the Glock 17 pistol, and you can even get this thing as a class D. Alrighty, let's just walk outside here. And okay, um, hello there scientist, how's it going? Does this person want to test on me? And wait, I just said follow now. I told Rod this game had an update because I haven't played in a hot minute. Hold up. Also, wait, where are we going? Why is there a nuke happening right now, bro? Dude, I swear, my look in this game when it comes to like nukes and everything, that's actually hilarious. But yeah, one thing I want to mention about the Glock 17, I'm pretty sure you can actually buy it in the shop from like Jerry or like Alex for five credits, right? Huh? And um, um, yo, don't don't worry, I'm friendly. I'm friendly. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave you guys to it. Okay, never mind. Okay, you know what? Watch this. Oh, that was kind of trash aimed there, but you know who cares? What are you aiming at? What are you aiming at? Oh my goodness, that was even more trash aimed by me. <laughs> Dude, all I got is Glock 17's actually good. Just had to hit, like what two headshots. And then they're pretty much dead, right? Yeah, that was the Glock 17. I think that Glock is pretty useful, especially as a sidearm. However, if you really think about it, you can technically have any weapon as a sidearm, so let me know down below. Do you think you should be limited to only one primary and one secondary? But anyways, if I had to break this game pass, I would put it at the A tier. So our next game pass is an Alpha 1 game pass. At just 350 Robux, you unlock access to all of the Mobile Task Force units and their upgraded variants. By the way, upgraded versions are pretty much like the better versions of your uh, of your subdivision perk. Apparently there's some chaos concerns in control room, I'm on my way. Also that thing just got popped, who's there? I just heard a Scar H. And also I heard that person die. Looks like they also captured SCP-966 here. Let's just go somewhere else. Oh, someone's there. I got you, teammate. Is there one more? Yeah, there was one more. But okay. I guess we'll go to the class to containment. Hopefully we won't get arcade or anything. Ooh! Bro! At fast reload speeds! Nice. The amount of spraying action we did there, holy. But we can do that though, because we do have pretty fast reload speeds. That's one of the great things about the upgraded version. Which, by the way, what even is a downgraded version? 10% and an extra 10%. Okay, cool. So that was the Alpha 1 Game Pass. Hands down the most worth it Game Pass in my opinion. According to the SEP Roleplay Wiki, to obtain MTF, you need 60 Global XP first, and then 120 XP on each Task Force unit to unlock the next one. So having this game pass to skip all that progress will be very useful, especially to those who don't want to grind the game. And at just 350 Robux, it's going to be an S tier for me. Anyways, let's move on to the Intelligence Agency game pass. For just 440 Robux, you unlock the IA team and the upgraded variant of IA. And the biggest thing about this game pass is definitely the double range on your tracking device. And okay, I guess we'll just go outside here. Dude, on gun Intelligence Agency might be OP because of this one tracking device. Kind of have wall hacks like so. That guy literally just died. You guys saw his body drop. Also, one thing I like is that you can kind of see them through the vents if you uh if you look. You can see if they're near like this bathroom wall. Pretty sure you can see if they come through these vents here, because like you have like a hundred fifty stud range, so you do have a lot of range to look at these people. A few moments later. Oh, I see so many people there. Yo, there's so many people here. Oh, and I see one. Oh my goodness, he almost got me. The tracker actually saved me, by the way. This tracker actually saved me. So that was Intelligence Agency Game Pass. Pretty solid Game Pass if you like to track the enemy down. And if I had to read this Game Pass, I'll just put it in an A tier for now. And before I proceed, let me know down below in the comments if you agree or disagree with anything I say. But moving on, we have the Internal Security Department Game Pass. For just 500 Robux, you unlock the ISD team in its upgraded version. 
You also get a nice Smash 12 added to your inventory, and your rogue detection range goes from 150 studs all the way up to 250 studs. And okay, apparently someone just gone rogue. Okay, that was actually really good. We just had to find this person, or like, uh, find where this guy's at. Oh my goodness. I just noticed that this guy's, uh, this guy's face is all over the broadcast. Everyone's gone rogue. All these people going rogue is a good thing, because I can detect them, right? And wait, there's a guy right there. I think he's trying to hide in this one room. Ooh! Also, wait, is this guy in our spawn? Yo, um, sir, you can't be here. Sir. Okay, there we go. Wait, there's actually one person right over there. You guys see that red speck? Wait, he was actually talking to someone. I think they're role-playing. I just ruined their role-playing experience. My bad. So that was the ISD Game Pass. I think this Game Pass is good, but it's not the best. And for 500 Robux, this might be a little bit pricey for some people, since it's just for one team. And honestly, I think I'm going to throw this thing at the top of the B tier for now. So our next Game Pass is a Rapid Response Team. At just 650 Robux, you unlock the Rapid Response Team and its upgraded variants. And instead of 10% faster move speed, you get 15% faster move speed. And okay, all of these Chaos Insurgencies, I don't know where they're at, they're probably somewhere. If I had that one Intelligence Agency Tracker, I can definitely track them out. Oh my goodness, um, you guys are okay, right? I love how I use a Spanish 12 on that person set the ACR. But it kind of makes sense because, like, you know, close range combat. Later. Dude, pretty sure there's another one here, right? Yeah, I saw his gun. Oh, I can see him in the corner. He's right there. This is gonna patch up pretty soon, though. Nice. Yep, there we go. So that was the rapid response from Game Pass. Having an extra 5% speed is nice, since you are responding to threats quickly as possible. But at 650 Robux, this might be a lot for some people. So let me just put this in a B tier. Coming up, we have the Chaos Insurgency Game Pass. Upon buying, you unlock the Chaos Insurgency team and its upgraded variants. Where question mark? Let's just go 002. All these Chaos Insurgencies, let's roll out. We're gonna know we're here though, because of the vent noise or like the vent explosion thingy. But that's okay, let's just go ahead and hack this thing. I'm just gonna run out. Oh my goodness. Get him, boys. Good job. Okay, there. They're all coming. Yo, guy with minigun, come inside. Okay, is this 25% faster hack working? It might be. Holy, there's so many of them. Ooh. So that was a Chaos Insurgency Game Pass. For the price of 250 Robux, I think it's pretty worth it. But I wish you would maybe get an extra weapon, kind of similar to RRT or ISD. Because of the price point, and because it's Chaos Insurgency, I'll get this Game Pass an A tier. So let's move on to the VIP Game Pass. At just 1,250 Robux, you unlock the upgraded Class D variant, weapon attachments, announcements, and more. I think this Game Pass offers a variety of useful things, but let's see it in a game. Okay, so for this whole VIP Game Pass thing, I'm just going over here and go with the Class D as the upgraded version. Okay, let's talk to this guy here, equip this thing. Might as well equip a vest as well for like three easy credits. Also, I like how there's signs over here, how you can't wield a weapon, you can only, uh, you can't cross the line, you have to be authorized. Which is a really good thing, because guys, we're trying to roleplay in this game, right? Let's go over here to like the guns and then the weapon attachments. Get some nice base attachments over here, get some sights as well, which is always very nice. You also get these announcements you can do. So uh, yeah, let's just type hi and then send it. Oh my goodness. Dude, there's so many of these rogue personnel. Do you guys see this? Might as well just go control them with all these people, right? This free UMP is actually so useful to have. Let's click to destroy this wall. I'm pretty sure you also get a star next to your name when you're on the radio or something. I'll just use the radio, um, hi. And let's say I do have a star next to my name. Okay, cool. So that was the VIP Game Pass. 
I really love the free UMP you get as a class D. The weapon attachments are also nice to have. In all honesty, I wish this game pass was a little bit cheaper. Maybe like a thousand Robux is fair enough, or maybe less. I think I'll put it between A tier or B tier, but I'll put it in A tier for now. So our next game pass is the O5 Council. At just 2,500 Robux, you get access to the minigun on all teams besides Class D, access to anomalous perks, you get the O5 key card that opens all the doors, you also get 2 times the XP when you're playing as an O5, you can also make announcement, and more. And oh my goodness, look at my arsenal of weapons. The biggest thing from this game pass is this notorious minigun. I literally this gun. Everyone hates or loves this gun. I don't know. Another good thing you have as an O5 game pass are these anomalous perks. As you can see, you can actually read what they do. But I think my favorite perk right now is maybe Anchor or Beacon. Or maybe Reality Benefit Extra Damage. Of course, you also have your own announcements. They actually have a lot of announcements here. And I'm pretty sure you only have it as this team. So if you go with the non O5 version, you only have one of these things here, right? But obviously, the O5 version offers a lot more. It offers a whole lot more. There we go. You also have a nice O5 key card as well. As you can see, like, look at that thing. If you have this O5 card, you can access anything. Let's just go outside here and use this minigun. Let's abuse this thing, because we love abusing minigun. But you know what? I don't want to do that as this team. Let's just do Chaos Insurgency upgrade. It's like, bro, it's going to be so much easier and so much better playing as Chaos Insurgency and doing this. Yeah, let's hop down this vent over here. It's not on cooldown. Oh my goodness, Daybreak. Oh my goodness. Oh, I have six ammo. I have to hide. Bro. Bruh. Yeah, let's hop over here. I think I might turn to infected, actually. Oh my. So that was the O5 Council Game Pass. At a high price at 2,500 Robux, I understand why people don't want to purchase this Game Pass. And I know some people hate this Game Pass since you get that notorious minigun. But overall, at a high price at 2,500 Robux, this might be controversial, but I think I'm going to place this weapon at the top of the A tier. And finally, we have the Administrative Department Game Pass. At just 750 Robux, you unlock the admin department team and its upgraded variants, alongside a Spaz 12 and a better team perk. Well, let me show you right now. Let me spawn as a regular version, right? If I spawn as a regular version, I'll show you guys my tablet, then SCP Radar. As you guys can see, I can pretty much see no red dots, no nothing. I have to be near Sector 3 to actually, like, detect the SCPs and whatnot. However, let me go to upgraded version, right? Look at that. I can see everything and everyone. That's 173. This is 066 and another SCP there. Let's actually go ahead and find out who it is. Hello, mother- Oh wait, it's SCP-999. This guy's also in there. This guy's allowed to roam free, but I kind of want this person to like, get out of this area, you know what I'm saying? And dude, this is actually very useful for like, managing SCPs and whatnot. Oh my goodness. Dude. Bro, there's so many of them. Dude, why is there so many people in this one vent? I can see them. Dude, well, that was a lot of chaos. Honestly, I think this game pass is okay. The price of 750 Robux is too much just for one team. And guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna rate this thing at the C tier. I don't really like this game pass. And boys, this is it. This is the official SCP Roleplay Game Pass tier list. Now all we have to do is rank the Tech Origin Game Pass, the Omnicar Game Pass, and the Unlimited Credits Game Pass, which haven't been added to the game just yet. So, uh, never mind.